a wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss some of the recent and somewhat mysterious discoveries coming from right here, our planet Earth. The discoveries in regards to something inside the planet that once again is somewhat difficult to explain and currently makes no sense. And in this case involves the discovery of somewhat unusual, never before seen hidden structures that seem to be in a lot of different locations on the planet underneath the crust, but whose origin is currently impossible to explain. And so let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, but also let's start with the obvious. In the last decade or so, because of the advances in seismic detectors and also the overall increase in computing power, it actually became relatively easy for a lot of different geologists to extremely accurately study the internal structure of our own planet. And that's because we have a lot of different seismic receivers on the planet, all capable of detecting even minor earthquakes. And here these earthquakes and the waves they produce basically serve as a kind of a, I guess, ultrasound. They allow us to see inside the planet and allow us to uncover a lot of hidden structures by basically detecting how fast or how slow certain waves move in certain locations. So basically all these seismographs that constantly detect and record earthquakes allow us to calculate internal structure of the planet by calculating the speed of each wave, which then determines what's inside. And that's because the speed of these waves depends on what kind of a wave it is and the overall density of material they pass through. Or to be more specific, the density and the elasticity. Which is essentially how the scientists eventually discovered the presence of these huge structures we refer to as LLSVPs or Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces, that we've discussed previously in a lot of different videos, because even today it's not entirely clear what actually produced these enormous structures, but they either represent ancient continents or potentially leftovers from the ancient planet that collided with planet Earth. But on top of this, in some of the recent videos, we also discussed the discovery of an additional core inside the planet, the so-called innermost core, and a lot of other bizarre features, such as huge chunks of seafloor, discovered in just the last few months, so basically in just the last few years there's been a lot of different discoveries. You can learn about some of them in some of the videos in the description. But here the principle was always the same. By listening to these waves from various locations, it becomes possible to find areas where the rock, for example, seemed to be colder or potentially has different composition. So basically in certain locations the earthquake waves seem to act a little bit differently. And so based on these unusual anomalies, geophysicists can usually find unusual structures or even reveal certain composition inside the mantle, or in some cases even inside the core, allowing us to understand and study our own planet without physically going there, drilling into it, and trying to collect samples, which by the way even today would practically be impossible. Even today one of the deepest holes is only like 12 kilometers in depth. And so when it comes to research involving geophysics, and specifically research involving plate tectonics, or basically the movement of continents and their interaction over time, Surprisingly, a lot of previous theories so far have basically been proven correct by studying geological deposits underneath the crust within the mantle by using these ultrasound techniques. And so for example researchers here expected to find a lot of different sunken continental plates very close to various subduction zones where we know one of the plates sinks under the other, eventually forming some kind of a deposit inside the mantle. And so quite a lot of these tectonic plates that have sunk over time have actually been discovered very close to subduction zones as predicted, which did confirm a lot of theories of plate tectonics and helped us understand how all of this works. As a matter of fact, most of our geological understanding and the understanding of how the planet evolved in the last four and a half billion years is kind of based on many of these assumptions that have basically been proven correct so far. But turns out that this plate tectonic cycle might still have some secrets. And these secrets have now officially been revealed based on even more complex simulations and even more complex analysis, that managed to use the data from all of these seismic receivers, combined with the analysis by a supercomputer, specifically this one, Pies Daint, located in the Swiss Alps, that allowed the scientists behind the recent study in the description, so Thomas Schutten and his team, to essentially create the highest resolution model we've ever had of all possible anomalies on the entire planet, going as deep as a thousand kilometers. And though this model once again confirmed the presence of these plates close to various subduction zones, it also discovered something entirely different. Here it discovered very similar formations that actually resemble submerged plates, 
or possibly some other really dense structures formed by something else entirely in locations where nobody expected them. In most cases under very large oceanic or continental plates where there are basically no subduction zones or no other zones that should be able to produce something similar. As a matter of fact, in most of these locations there is no evidence of any kind of subduction activity, no presence of previous plates and no explanation for how something like this could have formed. Right now these are just anomalies. And the only reason it was just discovered in the early 2025 is because of this newly created model known as the procedure full waveform inversion that required all of the seismic detectors in order to produce this observation. And naturally, because it was so computationally expensive, here they also needed a supercomputer. But the question right now is, what exactly are these? What are these lost worlds that seem to be located in many places, with the biggest ones being in the Pacific Ocean and under South America? And well, for geologists right now this is a really big mystery, because there's really no model that would explain any of this, and current plate tectonic theories suggest that these should not exist and there should actually be nothing there. Which basically means that there is something we still don't understand about the internal dynamics inside planet Earth and it looks like our planet is able to produce these huge massive structures using some kind of a technique we still don't understand. Or what this means for the evolution of planet Earth and how this affects the planet over time. Although funnily enough, one of the researchers basically tried to explain this in layman terms by using a common comparison with a typical ultrasound you might get from a doctor. Here he basically compares this to a doctor examining blood circulation with ultrasound, discovering a lot of different arteries, but then finding one where he really doesn't expect in someone's buttocks. I mean it was a pretty funny analogy and it does actually reflect what was discovered in this study, so I thought why not include it in this video. So yeah, basically these discoveries are kind of like finding an artery inside someone's butt. But right now the explanations are sort of missing. I mean there are some, but none of them are concrete. For example, one explanation here is that this is not just material from the last millions of years, but could actually be extremely ancient material, very likely rich in silica and a lot of heavier elements, that's been there since the formation of the mantle approximately 4 billion years ago. So in some sense, maybe this is just leftovers from ancient earth that has not changed much over time. And that's despite the convection inside the mantle that should have destroyed it a long time ago. Alternative explanation here involves something different. Maybe this is iron rich rocks that possibly accumulate as a result of mantle movement, in this case forming unusual focus points where the mantle motion basically brings everything in a certain region on the planet where it then accumulates over time. But the reality is that all of these are just assumptions for now and there's really no explanation. As a matter of fact, this is just another new mystery from inside the planet that once again highlights how little we know about the planet and how much we still have to learn. I mean, for all we know, maybe these are actually just tiny layers that were shed from the crust itself that for some reason remain in the mantle and were never recycled. And so until we actually find a way to determine what's inside these anomalies and what they're made out of, it's going to be relatively challenging to determine their actual origin. But one thing is certain though, previous models need to be reworked and because these structures seem to be quite widespread and seem to be present in many locations, this definitely creates a bit of a challenge for the modern understanding of plate tectonics. Another mystery from planet Earth that needs to be resolved in the future and something we'll come back and talk more about in some of the future videos. Until then, check out previous videos on similar topics in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.